Hey guys, welcome to my channel Way to Study. So today I'll teach you how to generate employee table and compute the salary based on department. So today guys I'll teach you how to create two table and integ integrate one table with another table. So guys just log in to your Oracle software and go to SQL command guys in this video will go little fast because in previous video I'll, I already taught you how to create table and how to enter values in it so we will go little fast in this so guys first you will create one table so guys create table and our table name is employee and our attributes our entities are employee id department id employee name employee salary so here you can see employee id department id department name employee name employee salary please guys watch my previous videos to understand better I hope you are able to follow my videos properly if you have any suggestion or any doubt please leave a comment in comment box I'll try to improve so guys now select the command and press run button so guys our table is created in the next line please describe the table describe employee to watch the table how it is created so you can see the table is created now we will enter values into our table so insert value insert into table values so our first value is employee id and second value is department id and the third value is employee name and the fourth is salary so guys select the command and press run button like this you will you can enter as much value as you can you want to un enter guys if you go to real life you will handle with lot of database and for all database these commands will work in my videos i'll just take less data like 3 to 4 or 4 to 5 only today i'm taking just 3 data only so select the command and press run button so you can see one row inserted like this you enter one more data employee values and employee id is 1011 and department id is 03 and employee name is ram and salary is 15000 close the bracket terminator and just select the command please be careful while doing and follow my instruction properly i hope you will able to learn so guys in next we will create one more table just see the values are entered properly or not select star from employee so through with this command you can check the table so you can see the values are entered correctly so guys next step is to create one more table employee table department and department id is the first attribute 
which is also same in employee you can see in employee second entity is department id and in department first id is department so through this entity we can link two programs two tables sorry so guys department id department name and supervisor are our three entities close the bracket worker is the data type so select the command and just press run button so you will see the table is created after clicking run button just type describe an department table name so you can see our table has been created so insert values into table department here we will enter three values department id number department name worker and supervisor worker so first is 01 and department name is purchase and supervisor is ram like this enter three values press on button you can see one row inserted like this please enter two more values Divya is the supervisor name, bracket, terminator, just select the command and press run button. Enter one more value, insert into department, sorry by mistake I type into values, not three sales department oops n2 the single quotes sales closed comma and then supervisor name is anita so please select the command and press run button after that ensure your data is entered correctly or not please type the command select star from department star is used to select all the members or all database we basically use star command for all database we have entered so select the command and press run button so you can see our department database is displayed on output box So next, next we will do is condition, we will select from department where department name is account. So select star for all from employee table where department id. So here at, I already told you that where is used for condition. So here we will give department id using department id select start department id from department so here we linked two pro two tables employee table and department table so we will select from both tables the department name should be accounts here the condition is so you will see there will be one entity only press run button so you will see 
the data from the first table employee table With the help of second table, we integrated both the tables into one. So you can see the apartment ID is same in both the tables. In the next command, we will count the number of employees in sales department. So select count. Count command is used to count the number of data count star from employee so the data we will select from employee table where employee where department id equal to here again we will move to our second table select department id from department where department name is account so the condition is department name should be accounts We will select department ID and department name is should be account. So you will see one entity only. So you can see run run button. So you will see there is only one one entity only having sales account. So the next command is to find maximum salary from the database. So select max here. Max is the max is the command basically used to find maximum. So here employee salary from employee table where department ID equal to select department ID from department where department name equal to account. So this command basically we are using here to find maximum salary from our database. So guys select department id from department where department name equal to accounts. So guys select the command and just press run button. So you will see the maximum salary is 35,000 in our database. So next command here is used to select a particular column from our database to find the data of Divya from database. So select star from employee. Here we are selecting star for like to checking whole database and finding the detail. So select star from employee where department ID. So it should first check department ID and then it should go to second condition where department ID select department ID from department where supervisor equal to Divya. So here first condition is department ID from employee table it will check department ID and from department it will check department ID also and supervisor column. Supervisor name should be Divya. So select the command and press run button. So you will see, you can see whole data about Divya. Employee ID is 02, employee ID is 001, department ID 2, employee name is Banu and the salary is 35,000. So next command here we use is update employee so here set employee salary we are doing this command for modification of our table so we will set employee salary 0.15% we will increase 15% salary of all employees where department name should be sales so we will increase the salary of sales employee by 15% using this command so here we explain like update employee table employee our table name set set is command basically as by the word it is set we are just setting some value 
what is the value is employee salary equal to employee salary temp salary is a variable here which is the which is the present salary into 15 percent where department id select department id from department where department equal to sales so select the command and press run button so you will see one row updated so now we will check which what data is updated and what is the current status of our database so select star from employee employee terminator select the command and press run button so guys you can see there is one only one sales boy and his salary is updated at the last row seven previous it was 15,000 now it is 17,250 17, so guys please ensure before closing all tab please log out and don't forget to subscribe my channel